guys, welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be trying to sort this boot problem out. Now I've got a new boot solenoid, this is a second hand one. I'm hoping this is the problem, um, but I'm going to be making two different videos today. First one's this one, um, and then we're also going to be doing a D wiper and a D badge as well. So for the first video, it's going to be the boot solenoid, and then hopefully a few days later I'll have the D wiper and the D badge video up as well. So now let's go crack on, try and sort this boot out. Right, so firstly we've got to take this trim off. There's three screws, one, two and three. I'm just going to loosen them off now and take this trim off. Right, so now these three screws are out, this should just pop off. There's that trim gone. Right, so this has got this cover on it by the look of it. It's just got two Torx 25 screws. We're gonna take that off. So there is the boot solenoid. Right, so here is the old boot solenoid. Now, when you press the boot button on the, on the keys, for example, it only compresses by literally a tiny amount. I believe it needs to probably compress to about there to actually undo the boot latch. So we're gonna fit the new one and hopefully it's gonna compress a lot more than that obviously to undo the latch of the boot. There's just two eight mil bolts that you need to undo, this one and this one. And then after that, you can unclip this and then reclip the new one in. So now you've undone these two bolts, you need to unclip this, which I suppose is the latch, which, or the wire that pulls the latch open. You just literally need to pull this up like that, and then this will actually come out of that hole there. Just give it a little push. It should come out like that. So now you just need to unclip that. There's the old boot solenoid out. Now for the new one, re-clip it in. You need to put that back there, slot that in there, like so. And now I'm gonna press the boot button, see how much it compresses by. As this is the second hand one, I'm not actually sure if it is gonna work yet, <laughs> but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bolt it back in place close the boot and actually see if it does work. Right, so it's a moment of truth. We're gonna see if it actually works now. I'm hoping it will. Oh, f No, it don't. That's a shame. That just goes to show that with a boot solenoid, it looks like you've got to buy a brand new part. I think they're only about 10 or 11 pound off eBay. So I'll order that tonight, um, and this video will be picked up when that new part arrives. It's a bit of a shame that that doesn't work, but I suppose it's just a second-hand part, you can't really trust it to be working fully. So we'll just pick up this video when the new part arrives. I'll, get, I'll order it tonight off eBay, and then hopefully it will arrive in the next few days or so. So we'll pick up this video then. So I'll see you when the new part arrives. Right guys, you join me again. The new part has arrived, the boot solenoid. Um, so it's a brand new part. The other one was just second hand, so I'm guessing that's why it didn't work. I'm now excited to try and fit this one. Hopefully it sorts out the problem. So we're just gonna go fit it now and carry on with the video. Right then boys, that's the new solenoid fitted. Let's see how much it compresses. Oh, that compresses a lot, lot more. This is hopeful, <laughs> very hopeful. Right, we're gonna put the boot trim back on and then we'll shut the boot, see if it works. Right then boys, moment of truth. Hopefully this time it does work. Yes, lads. 
Get in there. We've done it. Yes, boys. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm so glad the boot's now sorted, uh, but it just goes to show that you do need like brand new parts for the boot solenoid. You can't, you can't just go with a second hand part, it's gotta be a new part. It's, it's not even expensive though, it's just cheap. It's about 12 pound off eBay. Um, and it compresses so much more than the second hand one. So it just goes to show you do need a new part if the boot solenoid goes, but that's all sorted now. I'm happy, I'm gonna give her a clean and that's going to be the end of the video. Cheers guys!